Hi, this is Mitch Rosen. Uh, going to show you how to properly apply Leather Lightning, the product that we manufacture, to allow you to break your holster in and have a nice, smooth, slick draw without changing the fit. We manufacture Leather Lightning here, and it's a product that will not harm the leather, it will not harm the firearm, it simply wears off with use. You can use as much as you like, or as little as you like. You want to get the leather lightning on the inside of the holster wherever the gun is touching the leather, the slide, the frame, the trigger guard, basically. And the application is as follows. You open the bottle, put some on your finger like this. If you don't want to use your finger, you can use a Q-tip. Either way, it doesn't matter. And you put some on, and then you start at the top and you can put it on both sides like this. And then you take a little bit more. Oh, I'll show the Q-tip technique also. And then you do it with the Q-tip. Maybe your fingers like mine are a little bit too big for this end of the holster. So the Q-tip actually serves a very special function in this uh, application. There you go. And then again, wipe your fingers off if you get any on it so you don't drop things. You will have to do presentations. Putting it in and putting the gun in the holster will do absolutely nothing if you leave it overnight or if you leave it for a week. But doing presentations, draws, which you should be doing anyway, practicing your technique, practicing your presentation, that's how you break the holster in. The holster has to be worn preferably on one of our belts, which will give it full support or at least on a decent belt if you don't have one of ours. We do sell them, you can order one. And after a couple of days, you should have a nice smooth draw. What you should never do, do not ever take the bag it came in, put your pistol in it like this, hold it up and then jam it into the holster. We spent a lot of time fitting the holster so it works properly for you. Don't do that. If you're having difficulty breaking it in, use plastic wrap, the type you'd have in the kitchen. One or two wraps around the pistol, the part that goes in with the trigger guard up to that point, that's all. And then push it into the holster, it might take a little effort, just push it in and leave it overnight. It should be slightly less tight in the morning and you can always do that again. You can use three wraps if you want. Don't be excessive. We spend a great deal of time fitting these holsters properly, and it would be a shame to kill the fit for no reason. Another thing you should never do, don't soak it in water and then try to fit it and then leave it and dry in the oven. Just don't do that, period. It would hurt me to know it's being done. And I would feel it if you did that. If there are any questions, you can always call us and ask, but this really does cover the sum total of what you need to do with leather lightning.